This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to introduce a new concept. Here we use the number 2, and here we use the number 2, and the number 2 means pin 2 on the Arduino. But that's not very meaningful. It's connected to the green LED. And again, we use the number 4, and here we use the number 4, but uh, and it means the pin number 4, but really it's, we're thinking of it as the red LED. So, <clears throat> when we write programs, it sometimes helps if we can, if we can write what we mean instead of having to remember magic numbers. So wouldn't it be nice if instead of writing the number 2, I could write green LED? And whenever I saw that, I'd know I was referring to the pin where my green LED was. Similarly, when I saw, instead of writing the number 4, I could write red LED. And everywhere I saw it, I would know I was referring to the pin that the LED was attached to. So that way, pin 2 would be referred to as green LED, and pin 4 would be referred to as red LED. Now that's that's kind of a neat idea. Now how do we do that? We have to do it in several steps. So this is these are some new magic incantations. Um, the first thing we have to do is we have to declare a variable. And you may have heard of variables in math. What they mean what it means is it's a container. So we have to declare that we want boxes. And I want a box called green LED and I want a box called red LED. It has two parts has int and it has a name. So the first thing is the type of information that goes in the box or the kind of information and the second is the name and it ends with a semicolon. So we're saying we want a number to go in a box named green LED and so you know int means number. Now, why can't we just write the word number? I don't know. And it really would make life better. But on the Arduino, you have to write int when you mean you want a number. There's a better, ex well, there is a more technically correct explanation, but it is true. If you want to represent a number that has no decimal places, you need to use int. Now, those are just the boxes. There's nothing in the boxes. So now we have to say what we want to go in the boxes. So the first thing in our setup should be that we assign a value to the variable. Or we should put stuff in the box. So here we say that we say the name of the box equals the value we want in the box. Yeah, semicolon. So the name of the box is green LED and the value that we want to put in it is 2. Why? Because the green LED is attached to pin 2 on the Arduino. The equal sign is the way that we say in this programming language that we want to assign a value to that name. So we say name equals value or put this value in this box. And in fact, I'm going to draw that picture instead I'm going to erase some arrows, erase, 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 oops, erase some of the word. And really the way you read this is from right to left and you say put this value in that box. So put this over here. And if you write it the other way around, value equals name, it doesn't work. So you can try it and it would be interesting to see what kind of error it produces, but you cannot write 2 equals green LED. You can only write green LED equals 2. So the name of the box goes on the left, the value goes on the right. Now, we can use those boxes, the names of those boxes, anywhere we had the number. So everywhere we have a 2, we can say green LED, and everywhere we have a 4, we can say red LED. So replace that with red LED. And if we compile our program, we'll see, wow, hey, it still works. So what we've done is we've made up some names 
so we can read our program a little more easily. Oh, I just introduced a typo. Um, I'm going to ignore it. So we first declared the names of the boxes we want to use. So we said, I'd like to have a box called green LED, and I'd like to have a box called red LED. Second, we assign values. That means we put stuff in the boxes. So we say green LED equals two, or we want two in the box called green LED. And finally, we use the values. So we take those boxes that we've named and use them in our program. So that's the DAO method. Uh, well, uh, all right, it's a, it's a bad acronym, um, my bad. Um, but we define, sorry, we declare, we assign, and we use. And you have to do those three steps in that order. That's a really quick introduction to variables. It's one of the, the bigger concepts in programming. Um, but that's it in a nutshell, and we will work with variables more as we go.